वेलकम टू आर चैनल ब्राइट मैथ्स लेट अस लर्न अबाउट द रैंडम वेरिएबल एंड इनवर्स इमेजेस इन प्रॉब्लम्स सी द प्रॉब्लम सपोज टू काइंस आर टॉस्ड वंस इफ कैपिटल एक्स डिनोट्स द नंबर ऑफ टेल्स फर्स्ट वन राइट डाउन द सैंपल स्पेस second find the inverse image of 1 third the values of the random variable and number of elements in its inverse images so given that two coins are tossed and first one we have to write the sample space so when two coins are tossed we know the sample space there are four possibilities and we write the sample space capital s equal to h h h t t h t t we write this within set bracket like this so this is the sample space and uh, given capital x denotes the number of tails so let x denote the number of tails and here this x is the random variable and it takes the values 0 1 2 that is nothing but the possibilities of this tails so first one zero tail there is only one possibility that is hh so one possibility we write equal to 1 next one tail ht th and there are two possibilities so we write equal to 2 next two tails there is only one possibility tt one possibility we write equal to 1 so the random variable capital x takes the values 0 1 2 so in the equation given that x denotes number of tails so we have to write the possibilities of this tails that is called random variable values so the tails possibilities are 0 1 2 so the random variable x takes the values 0 1 2 now in the second question we have to find inverse image of 1 so this one tail answer this is called inverse image so the inverse image of 1 is ht th next third question we have to write the inverse images for all the values of the random variable so let us write the answer in a table so draw a table like this first row values of the random variable second row we write the number of elements in inverse image first uh, random variable 0 for 0 we have the answer 1 so write the answer 1 so for 0 tail there is only one possibility that is called inverse image so the number of elements in this inverse image is 1 next for 1 we have the answer 2 so for one tail there are two possibilities so we write that number only here next for 2 the answer is 1 so for two tails we have only one possibility so we write that answer here so it's very simple for zero tail answer 1 for one tail answer 2 for two tails answer 1 so that only we write it in the table and finally write the total adding this 1 plus 2 plus 1 which is equal to 4 next problem an urn contains two white balls and three red balls a sample of three balls are chosen at random from the urn if x denotes the number of red balls chosen find the values taken by the random variable x and its number of inverse images so here 
the sample space is the total balls so given there are two white balls and three red balls so we write the sample space s equal to two white balls three red balls total balls five and given that three balls are chosen and x denotes the number of red balls so here x denotes the number of red balls so we have to write the possibilities of red balls totally three balls are taken so the possibilities are one red ball two red balls three red balls so first let us write one red ball we take one red ball from the three red balls so the other two balls are white balls totally three balls are taken so two white balls taken from total two white balls so we write it as 2c2 and one red ball taken from the total three red balls we write it as 3c1 we know that c means combination so expanding using combination result 2c2 is 1 because ncn formula 1 and we know that 3c1 is 3 expanding 3 one time that is 3 and multiply 1 into 3 3 so for one red ball the answer is 3 next two red balls we take two red balls from the three red balls so we write it as 3c2 so the other one ball should be white ball so we write it as 2c1 so one white ball from the two white balls that is 2c1 two red ball from the three red balls that is 3c2 which is equal to 2c1 is 2 and 3c2 expanding using combination we get 3 and using the formula ncr equal to nc n minus r this 3c2 is same as 3c1 which is equal to 3 and now multiply 2 into 3 6 so for two red balls the possibilities are 6 next three red balls so three balls are taken all the three are red balls so we have total 3 red balls so we write 3c3 and no white ball so there are two white balls no white ball means we write 2c0 2c0 is 1 using the formula nc0 is 1 and this is using the formula ncn we get 3c3 is 1 and we get 1 into 1 1 so for three red balls we have one possibility so therefore the random variable capital x takes the values 1 2 3 now let us write the answer in a table so first row we write the values of the random variable and second row we write the number of elements in inverse image so that is very simple see this for one red ball the answer is 3 so for one red ball the answer is 3 next for two red balls the answer is 6 so for two red balls the answer is 6 and then for three red balls the answer is 1 so for three red balls the answer is 1 so we write the answer in a table like this finally write the total adding this 3 plus 6 plus 1 which is equal to 10 similarly next problem an urn contains 5 mangoes and 4 apples three fruits are taken at random if the number of apples taken is a random variable then find the values of the random variable 
and number of points in its inverse images. First write the sample space that is total number of fruits. So given there are 5 mangoes and 4 apples. So totally there are 9 fruits. And also given the number of apples taken is a random variable. So let capital X denote the number of apples. And 3 fruits are taken. So if 3 fruits are taken, we have 5 mangoes and 4 apples. So first let us write 0 apple. 3 fruits are taken. All the 3 are mangoes. So there are 5 mangoes. So we write 5C3. And no apples. So we write 4C0. And we know the combination results. This 5C3 can be taken as 5C2 using the formula NCR equal to NC N minus R. And reducing that 5C2 means reduce 2 times 5 into 4 divided by 1 into 2 into this 4C0 using the formula NC0 is 1. And this is equal to just to cancel 2 and 4 2 times. So 5 into 2 10. Next possibility 1 apple. So if we take 1 apple from the 4 apples we write it as 4C1. So the other 2 fruits are mangoes. So we take 2 mangoes from the 5 mangoes which can be written as 5C2. 5C2 means reduce 5 2 times 5 into 4 divided by 1 into 2. 4C1 means reduce 4 1 time that is 4. Now just to cancel 2 and 4 2 times 5 into 2 10 10 into 4 40. Next possibility 2 apples. So if we take 2 apples from the 4 apples we write it as 4C2. So the other one fruit will be mango. That can be taken from the 5 mangoes. And we write it as 5C1. 5C1 means 5 reduce 1 time that is 5. And 4C2 means 4 reduce 2 times that is 4 into 3 divided by 1 into 2. Cancel 4 and 2, 2 times 5 into 2, 10, 10 into 3, 30. Next, 3 apples. So, we take 3 fruits. All the 3 are apples. That means no mangoes. So, we write it as 5C0. And 3 apples, we write it as 4C3. 5C0 means 1 using the formula NC0 is 1. And 4C3 is nothing but 4C1 using the formula NCR equal to NC N minus R. So 4C1 is 4 and 1 into 4 is 4. So here the random variable capital X takes the values 0, 1, 2, 3 and we have the corresponding answers. So we have to write the answer in a table. So first row values of the random variable, second row number of elements in inverse image. First one for 0 apple the answer is 10. So that only we write it in the table. So for 0 apple the answer is 10. Next for 1 apple the answer is 40. So for 1 apple we have the answer 40. Next for 2 apples the answer is 30. 
so write it in the table for two apples the answer is 30 next for three apples the answer is four so for three apples the answer is four and finally write the total 10 plus 40 50 plus 30 80 plus 4 84 so this is the answer thanks for watching